Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints. This is a series of videos about what's new in Painter X3. Okay, so what's new with the color sets? Remember how if I were to make a color set from this image or from a mix of pad, you would get 256 colors that would be expressed. I mean, way more colors than you could ever use. That's changed. Now we can actually tell Painter how many colors we would like to have in the color set. So if we go up here to the color set option button and we click on new color set from image and then I could add a um, name for the color set and we'll call it red flower. And notice that the default for mixing colors is, or for max colors is 16. You can leave it at 16, make it less, go up all the way up to 256. We're just going to stay with 16 and say OK. And there you go. We have now uh, created a red flower color set. And let's take a look at it. If we bring this image up and I have the acrylic bristle brush selected. Look at these variations of color and how beautiful they are and how wonderful they would work together if I were creating an image of a reddish flower like the picture that we see. Also, if I were cloning, this would give me some colors that actually came from the image that I could use to paint uh, with without cloning. All right, so we get all those beautiful reds in there. And if we go to the blacks, the first one is actually pure black, but the next three go toward the green. I know that's very close, but that's a cooler black. And here we've got more green. And here we've got the most green there. But isn't that gorgeous? I mean, look at those colors and then look back at this. I need to move this out of the way. Look at those colors compared to the image. Now that's a useful color set. Okay, that's it for color sets. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.